Welcome to another episode of Bailot TV. My name is Riku and today uh, in the studio with me is Arto Niemi. Welcome Arto. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be with you here. Yes, and you're always welcome. Thanks. Uh, as you probably can guess, uh, when Arto is in the studio, then it's time for SAP Hybris Cloud for Customer uh, new release. And this time it's the release 1805. Yes. Uh, so, um, shall we do the traditional way that you, you will take the sales? Yep. Uh, I will take the service side. And, but before we jump into those, should we just talk on the kind of the general features that we, we have in this release? Yes, absolutely. Uh, is there, feel free to start. Is there anything that you would like to? Yeah, I could, I could start from um, the user interface. So as you know, or not know, but you know now that there is a HTML5 user interface, uh, which is kind of old school now. And then there's this new Fiori inter interface which uh, SAP is currently continuously developing. And now there are some pretty good improvements for Fiori. So there's a, this new team called Belize. It will be available as beta in 1805, but it will replace the old Fiori team in upcoming releases. And what I've seen, it looks really good. It's much, uh, it's not a revolution, it's evolution for the old, <laughs> old yeah, Fiori, but yeah. But the appearance is uh, it's much uh, uh, kind of sleeker and it, it looks more kind of it's more smooth than the, the old one. It's kind of not so intimidating. So if you are wondering if you should take Fiori in the use, so now is the time at least to check the new team, and I'm sure you will be impressed. Yeah, and is it so that if you are taking the Fiori kind of into use, then it would be a good idea to take the Belize? Yeah, straight away, uh, yeah, I, I would say so because it will replace the old, old yeah, team anyway in, in the future. In, in a couple of releases yeah, from yeah. now, at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, one of the general features I, I would like to talk about is the GDPR, uh, and as such, there are uh, in this release there are some small uh, improvements in the G GDPR yeah. things. But again, the major whole kind of functionalities already came earlier. Mm -hmm. But I think it actually starts looks kind of a good package, you yeah, know. So sure. uh, I would say that now in the when the GDPR uh, comes in the end of May, I would say kind of cloud for customer won't not be the uh, bottleneck in in the enterprises yeah. kind of landscape. Yeah. I think that will end up to handle it, and yeah. uh, it's it's more kind of a process question yeah. at, the, at the moment sure. how the companies will will handle this one. Yeah, and it's kind of the cloud for customers really. Set tools tools out there yeah. as a standard, so that's that's really good. So you yeah. can uh, de anonymize data and repl uh, remove data uh, as as it's regarded by GDPR yeah. as so a standard so features. So I, I had to kind of uh, give credits to to, yeah. to SAP for kind of pulling yeah. kind of that together, and it, uh, yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. They will manage. All right. Is there anything else on the kind of general level? That yeah, I could I could mention a few things for for the admin or key users out there. So before, when we have uh, transferred uh, new features, we have developed in test systems to production. Uh, there hasn't been much options. There's been option to, for example, if we're t talking about kind of uh, layout. Yeah. Modifications we can, we had previously only possibility to transfer the whole layout. But now yeah. with this new feature called transport management, we can actually pick individual things, and we have more control what we transfer from test systems to production. Mm -hmm. So that's that, I think that's a really good um, improvement if we consider the kind of continuous development for for CRM, which of course every organization should do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's interesting. Let's uh, see how that kind of play out and how it kind of yeah. working work in, in practice. Um, all right, uh, should we then dive into the sales part? Yes. So, is there uh, do you have some points that uh, or kind of features that you would like to highlight? Then yeah, I'll pick three points. Um, if we start from kind of the broader broader topic of machine learning, so in previous releases. Uh, We've been in the beginning of the sales funnel. So we started with the lead scoring and opportunity scoring and machine learning algorithms based on that as a standard feature in Cloud for Customer. But now we've moved into, I think, into really interesting area. So we have 
as uh, something called account intelligence. So we can actually uh, predict the probability of uh, customers uh, or likelihood yeah. of the, how customers are going to buy in the future. So uh, the system is utilizing, the, of course, your internal data, but also external data sources. So we get kind of the score. How, how, how probable is, is it that this customer will yeah. buy something? So really interesting to see yeah, that. I think that's really interesting, yeah. you know, and I, I see kind of how, how the machine learning takes one step by step, yeah. you know, going kind of deeper and deeper yeah. here. And, and yeah, and the, here, how do you take them into use? So if you have the regard licenses, it's just kind of a matter of activating them. So you don't have to like program any mm. neural network or algorithms yeah. or any kind of difficult stuff <laughs> you don't understand. Yeah. So, so you just take the features into use and they will be, they will calculate the stuff for you. Another uh, matter in that front is the cross and upselling. So we can, now the system can predict uh, cross and upselling possibilities based on your sales order history for your customers. Okay, but the second point, uh, this is a minor improvement, but I like to really highlight this because it's been really, really painful to maintain uh, different translations for surveys. So now we have a really good uh, uh, one screen uh, language, uh, language version main maintenance for surveys. So yeah. that's been pain point in the past, but now it should be, should be solved. Yeah, that, that sounds really good because, yeah. you know, I can just say, been there, done that, you yeah. know, and that, that's, uh, I think, a lot of our customers yeah. and, uh, or, or you that have been working with the system know exactly. Yeah, what I think that, uh, everyone who has, who, who has used service in C4C you know that yeah. the languages, different languages have been really painful. Yeah, but no, that, that, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Really good. And then the final point, uh, third point, is are the kind of calendar improvements. So now there's a, uh, with, uh, with the calendar view, we have now a map view on the side, so we can actually drag and drop accounts from uh, map to calendar and generate activities like visits and appointments kind of ad hoc way. And what is even uh, nicer there is that it actually visualizes the route if you have um, many visits on, on the same day, it visualizes the route on, okay. on the same view. So, and you can drag and drop and change the places of the uh, of the activities, so I think that's that's pretty impressive what I've seen. And then on the same front, there's this uh, feature called Team Calendar. I think many of C4C users haven't tried that, but I think now it's a good time to check that out because there's now a really neat feature that you in the Team Calendar you of course see all the activities of your your team, and you can drag and drop between different employees the activities. So it's really good for managing your team events. Yeah, and then I got still <laughs> one bonus for you. Uh, it's something called uh, uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator widget for accounts, contacts, uh, leads, and opportunities. So now, uh, for all the sales guys who are using LinkedIn Sales Navigator to get insights from their customers, it can be now embedded to get uh, contextual information out of uh, uh, contacts, accounts, leads, and opportunities. But yeah, that's the end. That's the end for me, so what's about the service side? Yeah, um, for the service side, I have a couple of things that I would like to, to, uh, to highlight. Uh, one is the click to call. Um, so basically, now we have still a little bit more options that you can kind of integrate third party vendors, yeah. uh, uh, CTI systems, and you can kind of collect the click to call features from various screens there. Yeah. Um, so that, that's definitely one. Um, then we have some improvements in, in, the t uh, in the ticket, and there is the email kind of client that has got some improvements. Yeah. So you probably know when the email client has been kind of truncated, mm, and yeah. you have a lot of not too much space where yeah. and it's the usability has been a little bit, you know. Yeah, that's kind of no no issue. No issue, yeah. Hard, so so now they promise yeah. there will be more kind of space for yeah. that, and also some additional features features like you can, for example, save it as a draft, the email and, and come back to it and, and yeah, things like this. So sounds really good. So it's, it's good that that's progress. Yeah. That's basically the, yeah. the bottom line there. Then you also have the, um, you have the, the kind of ticket uh, full create thing. Yeah. So um, in the previous you have done so that you have kind of two 
uh, you needed to kind of first do the preview of the ticket and then kind of if you have a lot of information you need to fill it out yeah. kind of save it open it and fill it out there now you can yeah. do it all in kind of one step yeah. and and this is kind of an option you yeah. uh, option if you w would like to use it I think that's a, that's a good yeah. improvement so you have For more sure. options there. Yeah. and then as kind of a last uh, it's the it's in the field service scenario so there you have the resource scheduler and and that has got a lot of also improvements how you can kind of see uh, basically what your team is working on, the kind of calendar view there, how yeah. you can order it, uh, or, or kind of sort the, the calendar yeah. and things like this, search and things like this. So how you kind of handle what your team is working yeah. on. That has got a lot of improvements. But uh, yeah, but I think that's kind of my, my things from the service side where that yeah. kind of caught my eye. Yeah, when, sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. but um, altogether, I think we'll stop here. Yes. Uh, this is, was the 1805 release. So yeah. now we're going to play around with it a little bit more. And, you know, come back next time when it's uh, in the end of summer, when it's yeah. next time for next release. So yeah. hope you join me then again. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Thanks. All right. Thanks to all the viewers and, and see you later. Okay, see you. Bye.